Are you doing it again? Doing what? You know what. I'm most certainly not looking <clears throat> for kittens. Look at the little V's. Look at the little V's. We have launched our um, search for kittens to adopt in Spain. Um, I mean, we don't have to adopt in Spain. We can adopt anywhere from Europe, but um, we're in Spain now. Look at you adorable feet. <sighs> All right, who's next? Um, who's responded? Christina from the animal shelter Amigos Patas El Visto. Oh, it's in English. It's in English. Oh, that's good. Broken English. Google Translate can have, can have a break, at least uh, on our end. wrote to us about possible adoption from the kittens. They would go with all possible vaccinations, chips, so you wouldn't have any trouble at the moment of your travel and either when you get back to the UK. That's nice. At least they right know something. Right now we have nine kittens. Nine! Okay, I'm drawing the limit <laughs> at 10. Oh. Uh, four in a village, 12 kilometers from here. They are one month old. From here, where from here? Uh, I don't know, they're still typing. And another five at our shelter, which are about 12 days old. Holy mother of crackers. One month is way too young. Uh, that, so that's the one that we... The fourth person has answered with a three and a half minute voice message. I really uh. hope it's in English. Uh. Hello Sam, I'm Magdalena. I'm the girl who has the the, the kittens. Um, I can I can answer to all your questions if you like. We can have a five minutes uh, interview. Uh, I think it's very cool the idea of uh, training them to, to travel. Uh, they are five months at the moment and. They will be uh, up for adoption once they are sterilized, which is on the 31st of uh, this month. 31st of uh, March. Because they actually got pregnant already, <laughs> so uh, you can sterilize while they're pregnant. We are in Huelva, I don't know where about are you. And uh, yeah, there will be microchipped, uh, uh, vaccinated, uh, mm -hmm. fully vaccinated, everything. The, uh, the fee, well, there isn't a fee. I'm paying for everything. Uh, so but, we make uh, a donation. The, the, adopt, the only thing I ask uh, the people adopting kitties that I'm, I have uh, I've been fostering is to pay for the transport, which they will pay to the person who takes them. It's a professional transport for, for pets. Right. And uh, maybe the microchip, which is only 25 euros. We live in a finca, like 17 hectares or something like that. And we go for walks every three days. Uh, <laughs> we go for walks. Uh, and they go. join with me and the dogs, so they are used to walk. This has been my favorite so far. Or after, mm. well, before us. Is that the one with the black cats? Uh, three black cats. Uh, so, and one of them, I think, is reserved already. So there are two, Anubis and, um, Anubis and Luna. Who are who are available at the moment? Um, anything? Let me know. Or we can have the five minute chat. That would be nice. Thank you. One of the issues um, as a English speaking person, obviously, uh, trying to adopt from Europe, is that the rest of Europe generally doesn't speak English. And what this means is we actually started looking for cats about two weeks ago and because we kept moving and stuff we couldn't kind of sit down and do the research so I just kept typing kittens in Spain. Adopt kittens in Spain. Which means that in the search results uh, mainly English speaking people who have like Brits have come to Spain and they're uh, having rescue centers so they know English. But also their existence is kind of limited in comparison to how many Spanish people rescue cats. <laughs> Which of course um, in Spain is going to be a hundred times higher. Yeah, so it wasn't until today that... Um, shush doggies! It wasn't until today that we finally found the words for kittens uh, to type in Google in Spanish, which is gatitos. We typed that into Facebook groups and up came so many that were doing literally hourly posts of yeah, kittens that needed adoption. Yeah, this, uh, please get this cat. Please rescue this cat. I feel rather cruel, like looking at, at a cat and saying, "Not that one." 
because there's no absolutely no reason why not that one. It's uh, but we <laughs> just want, we want them young enough so we can train them in the van, and which is why we're sort of looking for kittens because they're easier to to train. They don't know any set hard rules from previous lives or whatnot. Things keep coming through. Okay, so okay. the one with the, the black and silver kitten. Right. So the black and silver uh, kittens are the is the person who is concerned about us traveling in a camper van with the kittens. Yes. Yeah, so they've okay. asked, do you? So are you always traveling? Do you live in your home country? Um, we've said we're going to be six months in, six six months out. Yeah, and they've responded to that saying, "Well, a very busy life." Um. Uh, see. Yes. <laughs> see. Um. Okay, uh, that doesn't help me much. Okay, so that's them. They haven't right. progressed their opinion on on that. We obviously we we uh, when somebody shows concern um, towards obviously living in a camper van and traveling and such and such with cats, obviously that's completely normal. Um, uh, like most people think of cats as uh, indoor creatures or yeah. creatures that don't really creatures of habit. Yes, exactly. And they like their own space, and although the camp van can be their space, obviously when you open the door, that is different. Um, so that's a valid concern, and not every cat can do it, um, which is why we're being careful. We want to be honest about um, basically the fact that they will spend some time in the camper van, and if the foster people uh, feel like that that's not the right the right lifestyle for for their cats, then. That's that. Um, that's, that's up to them. Yeah. That, that's it was their cats. Uh, yeah. Technically. At the moment. Um, at the moment. Right. Marcia. This uh, is the remind one. me of their cats, not their name. Um, two ginger sister cats, six month old. One oh. ginger and white cat, four months old. So three right. cats total. Okay. So. What did they say? What did we say last? Right. We said we would be interested in all three and that the vaccine and passport costs we would shoulder like uh, we would yeah we would get them ready for travel and whatnot they've said i don't understand why you'd be interested in all three right okay because we love I cats have doubts they have doubts about what um they have doubt i don't know that's just what it says they have doubts whether we should take all three okay uh, why would we be interested in all three? All three because we love cats. Since they're all in the same household pretty much, it would be a shame to split them up. Yeah, that's kind of what we... Since they are, <laughs> that's kind of our ethos at the moment, isn't it? We were originally going to start maybe with one, maybe two, and then it escalated from two to maybe three. The thing is, I think two is kind of a guarantee now. I two, think. I'd say, and three only if kind of like the way that it works is if there are yeah like i don't want to leave one okay um we are going to have a call with somebody who i think has black cats they had three black kittens but there's only two now okay i think um they are like i don't know four or five hours away from us which you know we come we come to alicante because this is where a lot of the cat places are but then, but then the other ones seem to be like the ones that are answering seem to be not around here yeah, closer to Portugal. Yeah. Give them um, um, an antibiotics for six days or something like that. So I think after that, I, I, they will be ready. Okay, so so so, so that's um, about the sixth of April, roughly. Give it yeah, up. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that that's fine. That's pl plenty of times. Uh, pl plenty of t uh, time for us. We'll be yeah. in the area. Um, okay. So would you would you come to pick up the kitties, or you, do you want me to send the kitties to you? Uh, we, we'll come uh, uh, pick them up. Um, I think it would be good. Yeah, because yeah. that way we can uh, get them introduced to the van in a familiar place. Yeah. So um, yeah. Um, yeah, is, is, yeah. As long as you, like, are, are you um, happy to um, to basically okay. to have us ad ad adopt them, or do you want to have a bit more time to think about it? So yeah, we'll make plans as to whether, whether we come tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Have a have a nice evening. We talk tomorrow then. Yeah, yes. that'll be wonderful. Have a we good can. evening.
Okay. On YouTube. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Oh. Bye bye. Oh. Bye. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We will know tomorrow. She said, yes, guys, we're getting kitty cats. So we are now on the road, uh, driving all the way across Spain <laughs> for about six or seven hours, uh, heading towards Seville, because the kitty cats are there. Okay, well, we're just about to go and see the kittens, and uh, we're on a very steep track. Polly's apparently made it clear that it's possible to get down. The other one feels left out. Oh, I'm making friends. You want to bite my finger? Okay. <laughs> They're so small. Go under the pan. 